So when we get when you get done today, uh, we'll get the car. Ben, give a shout out to the bay for her birthday. <laughs> it's her birthday. You have to die for it. Go find We're out here at SHG talking with senior quarterback Gabe Green. It's the end of the road. Let's call it the Green Mile, if you will. Your senior year, an opportunity to win back-to-back -back state championships. What are you feeling going into this week, not just game-wise, but in general? What's your, what's, what's your feeling like? Uh, pretty much, you know, the coaches and all the people, they say, you know, just take everything in because it's the last time you'll do this. And we, we actually were fortunate to get the opportunity to do it last year, too, but... Everybody says that there's nothing like doing it senior year, so we just want to take everything in. Had an opportunity to talk to Bobby Brenheisen. He's the only quarterback in SAC history who's won back-to-back -back titles. He talked about the pressure of trying to do it again his senior year. Do you feel that pressure? Um, we do, but uh, we, don't, we don't really look at outside sources that much, so all the media and everything, we, don't, we try not to pay attention to that. I know we probably listen to a lot of things, but we don't really go through it. It doesn't get into our heads. So, I mean, a lot of stuff is just trying to be better than last year's team. That's just what we're trying to do. I look at the journey that you've been on. Started as a sophomore, started as a junior, started as a senior. How have you grown over the past three years? Uh, you know, actually, last week I think I was watching, uh, watching a little bit of film from sophomore year and I don't think I really look like the same person because just how much work I put in and how much I've grown. But I was kind of crazy to think that, you know, this is the last, last week after, you know, these past couple of years have been so great. Sophomore year, uh, I didn't, I couldn't even imagine it coming to an, to an end and now it is. Just last week, the All-State from the Football Coaches Association came out. Your name wasn't on it. That seemed pretty unfathomable to us. How do you react to that? Do you even I care? I personally, I didn't really care that much. Um, I don't know how they select those players or anything, but... Oh, you really don't care, do you? No, especially because especially of the school we go to and you know, how good of a team we are. And everybody preaches, you know, team and all this. So pretty much the only thing, only real trophy or goal or anything is the state championship. We don't look at individual goals or any of that. You seem to be a target of a lot of schools and a lot of people individually. You hear daddy's boy. You hear all those chants. How, how, do you, how do you keep it together when you hear taunts from other schools, other teams? I, I, I like it. I don't know. I don't know why, but ever since I can remember, there hasn't been anything, like even just talking to somebody, anything anybody can like say out of their mouth to me that would make me mad. I don't know. I kind of like the attention. It kind of means, <laughs> I think them doing that means that I'm doing something right. Because right. obviously I have their attention now, and they're trying to get under my skin. But I don't know, it really doesn't affect me. I enjoy it. This group has put the running clock on every single team they face this year. It's so dominating. Do you think it's going to get overlooked in the long run? And, and when people look back, are they going to say, that was a really good team, I think. I don't remember a whole lot of highlights because they all happen so quickly. Do you think it's going to get lost in the shuffle? It might, but... I don't think that's really what we're looking at. We don't, I know we're gonna look back when we're older and we're gonna know that, you know, this was a great season and, and everything went pretty well, but right now, you know, the only thing on our mind is the state championship. What's this team's legacy in the overall, overall outlook of SHG football? I mean, one of the five teams that won the state championship, we put so far 13 running clocks on teams. I think people would just, I think they'll just remember how dominant we were. Maybe a lot of people say that it's because of the other teams, because they aren't good or anything, but I think we've, we've played some good competition this year and we've been able to overcome that and do what we needed to do. So I think just, you know, they'll remember us for our dominance. Are you the best ever? Is this group the best ever to come through SHG? You know I couldn't let it go without asking. Um, I don't, honestly, I would have to go back and I would have to watch all of 2005, oh, all of 2006, and all of 2000. What does your gut say? What does it say in your gut? I mean, obviously, obviously we want to be the best, and obviously we're going to think we're the best. I'm sure Tim Donneville thinks his 08 team was the best, and then Bobby probably thinks his 06 team was the best. Right. It's just, 
it's part of being a competitor. You know, you want to be the best, but at the end of the day, you, you really got to look at it. I don't know. There's been a number of great quarterbacks that have come through SHG. I think Eric Peterman, I think Bobby Brenheisen, uh, Tim Dondonville won a title here. I mean, the list goes on and on. Where do you see yourself in that long list of quarterbacks? Um, I mean, I think as an SHG quarterback, you're all kind of, you're grouped together and you're kind of like, you're kind of a unit by yourself. It's such a demanding position and especially for a team like this who, you know, has all the great quarterbacks in the past. You look at them and you start to compare yourself to them and you want to be better than them, but at the same time, you're kind of just part of a family and, you know, that going along with the quarterbacks to come will be great. What's your legacy as quarterback? Hopefully people see me as mainly a winner. I think, you know, not, I don't know what to count Rochester as last year, but if we win Saturday, I think, uh, I think my record would be 39 and two and, or something like that. So, I mean, as a football player, you want to be remembered as to win games. And I think that's what I've done. Well, good luck this Saturday, man. And thanks for sitting down with us. Go get them. Thank you.